Tonight, Portsmouth Police says a 10 year old boy has died after being shot. It happened Friday evening along Farragut Street. So far, police have arrested 31 year old Sean Day Ross, and now they're looking for another person connected to the shooting. Miles Hood joins us in the studio with where the investigation stands tonight and city leaders reaction. Miles, what can you tell us? Stephanie, right now, police are searching for 26-year-old Cleon Banks. He's a person of interest and is considered armed and dangerous. Portsmouth Police Chief Stephen Jenkins says he's outraged at this recent homicide, being that this is the 19th one this year. I'm, I'm a little bit shaken up. Uh, normally, I don't get shaken up, but everybody is really, like, uh, on edge about it. So, and norm stuff like that normally doesn't happen in this area. Gun violence, any violence at any time is always going to be unacceptable in the city of Portsmouth. Friday evening's deadly shooting on Farragut Street in Portsmouth took the life of a 10 year old boy. Neighbors and city leaders alike are outraged. There's no reason for any any person that doesn't need to protect, possess a firearm to have it, particularly our young our young people. Chief Jenkins said the 10 year old was at home when a stray bullet came through the window of his home and struck him. He's taken to the hospital where he later died. In a statement, Chief Jenkins calls the incident tragic and a result of the dispute between teenage girls that erupted into a scenario of irreparable violence. A spokesperson for the department says Chief Jenkins visited the scene last night, spoke with bystanders, and went to the hospital to be with the victim's family. Portsmouth Mayor Shannon Glover sends his condolences to the family. He also urged people to put down the guns and use the community resources to solve their issues. We, as a community, we love you, and we need you to put the guns down and seek another means of resolving any issues that you may have. We want you to grow up and have a future in our city so that you can participate in our growth and development. Chief Jenkins says reducing gun violence will not happen overnight, but he believes working with the community is key to solving the issues. In the studio, Miles Hood for 13 News Now. Thank you so much, Miles. Again, police arrested 31-year-old Sean Day Ross in connection with this shooting. Right now, they're looking for 26-year-old Cleon Banks. Police say he's considered to be a person of interest, and they say he's considered armed and dangerous. If you have seen Banks or have any information that could help investigators, call the crime line at one lock you up You can also submit information using the P3Tips app. Remember, you can remain anonymous.